document review in Bentley Infrastructure Cloud. So I'm going to walk through a process now where we take a set of drawings, documents, uh, and send them on a review with uh, with their own workflow. So starting looking at the ProjectWise documents, we're obviously looking at ProjectWise web interface, but we're looking at the ProjectWise design integration repository. So I've got uh, some PDFs I've just added to the document set. And if we have a look at that, there's all of my PDFs. And we can see they're locked to the current version. So we know when we send these on the review, that version is going to be the one that we're, we're discussing. And obviously, because we're in ProjectWise, we've got all the attributes, all the audit trail, everything else that we'd expect to have in ProjectWise. Um, these PDFs have been created automatically by ProjectWise because they've uh, because they're drawings that have reached a certain stage in their workflow. So now we've packaged those up. Let's kick off a design document review. The details, the form, the controls that we have in here are configurable. So you can set this up uh, to capture the information that you need for your project. I've just done a very simple form. I changed it slightly from the standard one that we deliver with every project uh, within the template, um, just to show you that it's possible. So I've got a, a milestone that we picked from a drop down list, a uh, due date. And then it's asking me to attach some documents. So ideally, these are in your project wise system. They could also be sitting locally on your desktop if you want. So I'm going to pick the document set. Um, and then it just opens up for me and I can select the contents of that or, or subset of those. So they're all selected. And then added to the review. Uh, I save that, uh, that review. And then I need to push it into the workflow. So that's my next action then is send for review. So at this point, it's asking me to assign it to a person or a group of people. So I'm going to set, assign it to the engineer role. And it's requiring a comment from me at this point. So let's put that in. And it's remembered the due date that we added uh, in the form. So there's my DDR00001. We can control that code. That's uh, just a code that I've given it. Um, and then everyone within that engineer group is getting notified uh, via email that there's a package to review. So they can follow the link and they be brought exactly to this spot within this project. And I can see if I click on the review package, uh, it picks up, it pulls up the, the details on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, and then if I click on one of the PDFs, it will open uh, in the browser in, in my view on the, on the left hand side. And it takes a few seconds to load. In this case, we've got eight PDFs, so it actually loads all of them at the same time. Uh, and then I can flick through and review them as I need to. If you've used the PDF markup tool before, then that's what we're using here. So I've got um, text highlighting, annotation. Uh, I can create little speech bubbles. I can do you know, uh, free drawing and clouds and, and things like this. Um, what I'm showing you here actually is two markup options. And I'm, if I select them both, I can group them together because it might be we need a few different markup uh, objects to, to convey our message. Um, and then I'm going to take that group of markups and create an issue from it. So by doing this, I'm, um, I'm actually creating issues within that wider design review package. And I can, I can assign these issues to different people. So that issue is created. It's got its own code. It's its own uh, type of form. So the separate information that might need to be captured. And then I can see within each PDF uh, all the markups and issues that have been created. So here I'm just creating a cloud and just showing you how we can change the, uh, the size and the color and, and things like this. Um, so we won't go through all of them. Um, but it's clear there we've got a drawing package for package TUV. It's open, it's in the review state, and it's created by me, and it's currently assigned to the engineer. If we go and look at the design issues, so these are issues that have been created uh, against various PDFs or iModels. I can find the ones that relate to me, that have been assigned to me by other people. Uh, again, I can quickly see uh, the PDF that it's been generated in. I can go and make my comments. I can 
you know approve or reject or whatever i need to do with that particular issue i can say in this case that i've made the changes needed uh, and just close that issue out and here we can see the filters on the issues within that pdf um, i had it checked off so anything that's anything closed won't show up so there's actually an option i put within this drawing package form uh, to make sure that everything has been closed all the issues have been closed before i um, complete the the drawing package uh, and that's where we are right now so that's completed now i can go ahead and look in the dashboard i can see i've got one complete package if we just remove that filter from the dashboard see we've got five packages or four i should say four packages and uh, two in progress one draft and one complete Thank you.